And we're starting off this morning fairly clear across the valley. Here's a look at South Padre Island from Beach Park at Isa Blanca. Right now, 79 degrees. We're seeing clear skies and expecting a very gorgeous sunrise within the next uh, probably 20, 25 minutes there. But current conditions right now, McAllen 78, Harland and 75, Brownsville at 78 degrees. Here's a look from the NBC 23 Far Bureau of the Expressway just near the Sugar Road exit. So we're seeing some fairly clear uh, road conditions as of now. As far as our dog walk forecast, we are expecting those temps to eventually warm up into the mid 80s. We're going to have a very hot day today here across the valley with us getting up to about 93 degrees by the noon hour, 93 by the 1 p.m. hour. As far as our destination three day highs, if you're heading out of town, just keep in mind that there is going to be some rain chances for the Houston area, mostly hot and humid for San Antonio. We're going to see some storms in the Dallas area as we head into Sunday and Monday, and we're expecting rain chances for us here in the valley, all thanks to that tropical system that is now moving back over open water. We're seeing calm conditions across the southern half of the state. There is a stationary front to the north of us that's going to give rain chances to the Houston area and Dallas. However, our main concern is going to be what's going on in the tropics. The National Hurricane Center now giving that system a 40% chance of development within the next five days. We are seeing the center of that convection now moving back over open water, and this is expected to take a more of a northwest track within the next a few or two 48 hours there. So we could see that there's a lot of uncertainty on how much rain we could potentially see, but this is well likely giving us uh, going to give us some rain showers here across the valley as that low pressure system continues to move off towards the northeast there with highs in the 90s and hundreds. So we expect those those uh, rain chances for us here across the valley, mainly on Saturday, clearing out by Sunday and then by Monday. We're going to be mostly sunny with those highs uh, in the 90s and hundreds. So those conditions clearing on out as we head into the beginning of next week with overnight lows in the 70s and 80s. And then weather models hitting around at another system uh, moving in from the north of us that could bring us even more rain chances as we head into Wednesday and Thursday there. So high resolution radar mostly clear as of now. Not much going on. We are could see some stray showers off into the forecast as we head into this afternoon, but just really not expecting uh, much of rain as we head into today. Just mostly sunny, hot and humid. The rain that we did receive within the net within the last five days definitely put a dit in our drought monitor conditions. So we're seeing mostly conditions or that are not experiencing drought as of now, but dry conditions in place for Brownsville and areas in southern Hidalgo County as far as McAllen and Edinburgh as we go into the next few days. And we are expecting some more rain chances as we head into to the next uh, 48 hours there for this weekend. As far as your seven day forecast temperatures in the low 90s for this weekend, we're going to have to watch the tropics to see on whether or not we're going to see that rain depending on the center of that system where it goes. It could be well far to the south of us and we very well could just get some showers or it could take a more northern track and give us more sh scattered showers and storms, but expect those highs in the upper 90s for Monday and Tuesday overnight lows in the 70s.